Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and today we're going to do an unboxing and setup of Ubiquiti's Edge Router X. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're looking at Ubiquiti's Edge Router X Gigabit Ethernet Router. Let's take a look and see what comes inside the box. Inside the box is the Edge Router itself, a power cord, and a quick start guide. The Edge Router X is made of metal and as you can see here has a very tiny form factor. On the top of the unit you have the Ubiquiti logo and the Edge Router X model information as well as indicator lights. The front of the unit features five ports. The first port, E0, can also be used to power the unit with 24 volt passive PoE. Then you have ETH1, ETH2, ETH3, and ETH4. ETH4 can also be used to, for a PoE pass-through to power another PoE device. On the back of the unit, you have a 12 volt power port. There's threads for a ground screw, and then you have a reset button. Each side of the unit has vents for cooling. The bottom of the unit has four rubber feet to use on a desk. It also has holds for mounting on a wall. It has the serial number and model information. All right, guys, let's get started with the setup. By default, the Edge Router comes from the factory with an IP address of 192.168.1.1. In order to connect to the Edge Router for the first time, I have my computer plugged into the ETH0 port, and I've given my computer a static IP address on the same network of 192.168.1.5. So let's point our browser to that address of the Edge Router. Okay, so there we have the Edge Router login screen and the default username and password is UBNT and UBNT. Now that's fine for this demo, but make sure you guys change that to something a little bit more secure. Okay, so now we're logged into the Edge Router interface and the first thing I'm looking at is the firmware version. This router shipped with version 1.7.1 now I know for a fact that we are up to version 1.9.7 and I've already downloaded that. So let's go ahead and get the router updated. To do that, let's come down to the system tab and click that. And let's look for upgrade system image and we're going to upload a file. And now I'm going to upload that file that I downloaded from Ubiquiti's website and it's right here. It's a tar file. And now the Edge Router is updating. I'll be back when the update is done. Okay guys, so the firmware upgrade completed and the router needed to be restarted. So I did that and now we're back at the login page. So let's go ahead and log in with UBNT and UBNT. And we can confirm here that the router was successfully upgraded to firmware version 1.9.7. So the first thing we should do is change the password for the default user. So to do that, let's come over to the Users tab. Let's click on the Actions button and select Config and then Change Password. And go ahead and give it a password of your choice. And click Save. Okay, let's log out and sign in with the new password. Now that we've changed the user password, let's configure the router with one of the wizards. So let's click on the wizard tab. And we have a couple of wizards to choose from. Let's look at them. So we have a basic wizard setup, and this wizard can be used to set up basic internet connectivity. Um, we have load balancing and load balancing two, and basically these are to set up the router to use with two different internet connections. The one I like to use is the WAN plus two LAN two, and that allows me to set up my ETH0 port on either DHCP, static IP, whatever your internet service provider requires. In this case, I'm going to leave it set up to DHCP because I'm going to use this in a lab situation and the WAN port's gonna be actually plugged into an existing switch on my existing network. I do want to enable the default firewall and I do want to use one LAN but if we uncheck this, we can split 
we could have an optional LAN on ETH1 and then ETH2, 3, and 4 would be switch ports. But I'm just going to use one LAN for now. And I'm going to leave it set at 192.168. And we'll change this to, instead of 1.1, we'll make it 100.1. And we'll enable a DHCP server. We're going to say keep existing user and apply. And we're going to apply changes. The configuration has been applied successfully. So now we're going to say reboot. And yes, I'm sure. And while the router's rebooting, now I'm going to unplug my computer from ETH0, plug it into ETH1, and then I'm going to change my computer back to taking an address from the DHCP server. I'll be right back. Okay, so now the router has been restarted once again, and I've changed my computer back to DHCP, and I plugged it into ETH1 on the router, and now ETH0 is plugged into the switch on my uh, existing network. And you can see that I have gotten an IP address on the DHCP, uh, from the DHCP server of 192.168.100.38. So that being said, let's log back into the edge router, And let's take a look at what we have. Okay, so the internet interface is, well, this is the, in, the um, IP address coming from my existing network. It's just plugged into a LAN port on my existing switch. If you guys were, you know, getting an IP address from your ISP, it, it would be something different. And here's the um, LAN that I set up on switch 0, 192.168.100.1 uh, slash 24. So we have traffic analysis, which I don't have enabled right now. There's a routing tab, and the default wizard created the existing routing table that you see here. You have a firewall and NAT tab, and you can see you could do port forwarding. And here are the default rules created by the setup wizard. But what I want to take a look at right now is the services. And here's the DHCP server that was set up from the wizard. So let's click on the actions and view details. And you can see here that you have your subnet of 192.168.100.0 slash 24. And the DHCP starting range is 100.38 and the ending range is 100.243. Now that's okay for the purpose of this setup demonstration. However, you can change this range to whatever you want. Before I retired in the um, corporate side of things on our corporate network, we used to start our DHCP range at .100 and run it up to .254 and we reserved the first 99 um, IP addresses for things like servers, appliances, firewalls, content filters, uh, surveillance cameras, etc. So I'm going to leave this just the way it is for now. The only thing I'm going to do is pop in another DNS server and I'm going to make that a public DNS. And I'm going to go ahead and say save. Good. And I'm going to close this window. And the last thing I want to do, guys, is just test and make sure we do have internet access. So let me bring up my terminal window. And let's give it a ping command out to a public DNS server. And there you go. I'm getting a response from 8.8.8.8. Uh, .8 .8 .8. So there you go guys, a quick and simple setup of the Edge Router X. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, please like, and please share. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time.